Here's Please. a question for you. You play that up-tempo style, maximum effort. Uh -huh. Does that allow you, and do the kids kind of understand, go as long as you can, as hard as you can, and we're going to get more people playing yeah. the same exact way? We, we had to teach the guys how to sub themselves. Uh, and if you play with an effort that gets you tired, the most unselfish thing you can do is sub yourself out. Yeah. And we've gotten a, gotten to that point in our culture where guys aren't afraid to sub themselves out because they know they have played so hard and they're going to go back in. So that's rewarding for guys to do and it's very unselfish from teammate to teammate. From a win-loss win perspective, my guess is you weren't surprised when you guys were voted 10th in the, in the uh, conference before the preseason? No, no, I wasn't surprised nor shocked. Uh, you know, those 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 uh, rankings and mm -hmm. votes come from the media and obviously from the coaches in, in, right. in conference, but it's based off what you have returning. Right. And, you Nobody know, we were in a, they, no one knew what we had and still don't know uh, until they really play up against us and start to scout us. But we've taught our guys how to look at the primary and secondary, uh, meaning expectations. The primary expectations is what we expect of ourselves. Okay, so you get ranked number ten, and guess what? Look where you're at, fourth. <laughs> <laughs> well, we guess don't, who's laughing now? We, we don't. We don't look at the rankings. <laughs> just, just ask that question to us in March, yeah. and hopefully, we're in the same place. But right. it's all about jockeying for a position for the do tournament. You, when, when you get to where you want to be, do you look at it as three parts of the of the schedule? You're talking about not pre uh, non-conference games and conference games and conference. Yes. Tournament? Is yes. that how that, yes, that works? Yes, we do. But when we get into conference, we break our conference down in threes, too. There's 18 games, so we go by sixes. Okay. And right now, we're going on the end of the first third of our conference schedule with our game at Wright State. That'll be the first six. We have an opportunity to either go four and two or finish three and three with the first six. And then we'll move to the next six and have those four and many. two would be unbelievable. That'll be great. That'll be unbelievable, and our guys are going to work hard at it, and I guarantee you the, the, the feeling of our loss against Oakland, you know, it's, 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 it hurts. It hurts our guys. <laughs> okay, so realistically, you've had – Cleveland State's had success. Kevin Mackey years, he had yes. success. Uh, Gary Waters, their success. A uh, couple of others along the way, and then some not-so-successful things. What's realistic from your point of view? You coming in here, where – at what point will people take notice of Cleveland State again? Well, in my first year, and I told our guys this, it's not about quantity, it's quality. Uh, producing a championship quality. And for as long as you produce that, you can start to incrementally grow and see the, see the results and quantify it. And that's what we're moving toward. Uh, so that's why we don't look at the record. Our question is, have we outplayed our opponent each and every game? That's our biggest question and first question we ask ourselves. And then we'll start looking at the percentages and, and the things that allows you to win. All right, so you got three road games coming up, and then you come back home. And by the way, it's the best ticket price in town. It's it's a, it's from great, an entertainment it's, standpoint? It's a, it's a great mm -hmm. ticket price. There's no doubt about it. But it's also a great experience. Right. And when you do come, and I encourage you guys to come out and support, but it's an unbelievable environment. Um, you know, our team does a great job. Uh, getting prepared uh, and making it a, a fan-friendly environment. All right, so going down the row here after you, you've got a couple of road games, then you've got four home games in yes. a row. 23rd of January, Green Bay comes to town, then uh, Milwaukee on the 25th, and uh, on the 30th, it's IUPUI, and yep. on February 1st, it'll be UIC. Yep, yep. The initial conference. Nothing hey, but initials. I'll, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you one thing. It's a tough conference and a well-coached uh, conference. These teams are prepared. I found myself looking down at uh, Coach Campy, Man, you've been there for 36 years, <laughs> and this is my first year, so I've, I'm honored to share the sidelines with these coaches. I mean, think about it. And Dave, you know as well as anybody the the the, the, the coaches that have come out oh, of this yeah. league. I mean, Bruce Pearl and Larry Farmer. Well, Brad Stevens was Brad at Stevens. Butler. With, that, yeah, that game yeah. you were talking yes, about was yes, a Brad Stevens yes, coach game. Yes, yeah. Some unbelievable coaches yeah. have come through here, yeah. and there's no doubt there's some unbelievable coaches still in this conference. And um, you know, I'm ha I'm happy to be here. Very.